at Batesville Products, we get involved with a, a variety of different industries. We're not really tied to any particular industry. As a matter of fact, uh, no industry makes more than 15% of our, of our business. I am Terry McCarthy, Vice President of Sales with Batesville Products, and uh, we are a permanent mold casting facility located in Lawrenceburg, Indiana, and we also have a plant in Aurora, Indiana. We are a, uh, a full service company. We, we uh, specialize in engineering support using SolidWorks software. Uh, we have the casting operation, permanent mold casting operation with about 35 casting machines, a variety of permanent mold machines featuring tilt pour, reverse tilt pour, and standard permanent mold. Uh, down at our Lawrenceburg facility is where we get into secondary machining, a lot of CNC, vertical and horizontal machining centers and turning centers. We also have a full inspection lab there with coordinate measure machines and uh, that is very necessary and vital to supporting uh, the, our business. Uh, a typical customer of ours, uh, we do a lot in the, in the medical area, for example. Uh, the reason that is it's a good fit with us is because they require a lot of engineering and a lot of assistance. And a lot of the commodity type of items that went overseas, um, uh, medical is one that is really strong here and it's a really good fit with us. This is a, uh, a base uh, for a medical cart that is used obviously in hospitals and originally was a steel weldment and our engineering department worked closely with our customer to help them redesign the steel weldment into a really good workable casting. Um, and this is kind of a typical part for Batesville products in that we, being full service, we not only help them with the design, but after the castings are produced, we do the secondary machining and we get the powder coated finish and then supply it completely ready to assemble for our customer. Um, it's actually a lot better as, as a casting versus the previous weldment in that it actually saved, saved money. The weldment had a lot of labor in it and it also has, gives the, uh, a more molded, more professional look than a weldment, obviously. Normally with a permanent mold casting, you try to design it so that everything is steel components, um, but in some cases the designer has some undercut areas down in this area, in this part, which, which we could not core out with a steel core, so we use a shell core, which is a sand core that's held together with a binder, and that actually is a disposable core that is removed during the heat treat process after the part's cast. This actually is a housing for a tactical power supply, and the end customer is the Army, and we actually produce the casting, and this is a very unique part in that it's a six-parted permanent mold casting, very extremely complex part uh, from a molding perspective. We cast the part, um, there's a, quite a bit of machining, and then it gets uh, a chromate coating, and then the CARC, the chemical agent reactive coating paint that is necessary for military products. As I said before, we sell to a lot of different industries, and this is a, a rather unique part. It's actually a casting that goes in uh, a DVD rental kiosk machine, and it's called the, uh, the picker casting. It actually was a sand casting before, and they, they went to a permanent mold casting to get a better, uh, uh, um, to control the dimensions better, and it also was uh, reduced their cost. Our engineers are excellent, and they're sitting there waiting to answer your calls, solve your problems, so just give us a call.